Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about one of the most highly anticipated games of the decade, Grand Theft Auto 6. The franchise has been a massive success, with Grand Theft Auto 5 topping sales charts years after its release. But with such a high bar set, how will Grand Theft Auto 6 measure up? The details on Grand Theft Auto 6 are scarce, but there are a few things we know. One exciting rumor is that the game will return to Vice City, a fan-favorite location from the franchise. But there are two things that we believe are essential for the game to succeed. Firstly, the game needs to fix the franchise's control issues. Grand Theft Auto 5 allowed players to do almost anything in its open world, but the controls can be clunky at times. Shooting can be inaccurate, and cars can be challenging to handle. If Grand Theft Auto 6 can improve the controls while introducing new elements, it will go a long way in giving it a similar feel to its predecessor. Secondly, the game needs to make up for Grand Theft Auto 5's lack of single-player expansions. GTA 4's DLCs, The Lost and the Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony, expanded on the game's themes and provided players with immersive new storylines. Unfortunately, Grand Theft Auto 5's post-launch content is all for online play only. But with reports that Grand Theft Auto 6 will have new cities as DLCs, there's hope that the game will provide fresh plot points that aren't entirely multiplayer-focused. In conclusion, Grand Theft Auto 6 has some big shoes to fill, but we're excited to see what the future holds for the franchise. What do you guys think? What do you want to see in Grand Theft Auto 6? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.